Excel is a powerful tool, but as you know, with great powers comes great responsibilities. So if you came here for an interactive dashboard in Excel or a project management plan in Excel with a progress report, then this video is not about it. Moreover, I will tell you why you should never, never use Excel as your project management tool. Personally, I reviewed all these videos about how to use Excel in project management and I found one showstopper that prevents me from recommending you Excel as a PM tool. And the main problem with all these tools created in Excel and with these dashboards that they work really well with only a small amount of tasks like 10 to 20. So in the real world it's a level of deliverables for a project, not for the tasks. In practice even a small project with 10 to 15 team members generate about 100 tasks per month. And if you look at all these Excel tools, you will see that at the back end they have a spreadsheet with the raw data, with all the tasks that have all the attributes of the tasks, like planned values, actual values, duration, deviation, budgets and so on. First of all, it will take tremendous amount of time to maintain this list if you have hundreds and hundreds of tasks even during few months of work. But the real nightmare will come when a change request comes and you need to make a change somewhere in the middle of your project and this change will not propagate across all the rules of your project plan in Excel. So Excel will not be a great choice if you have lots of details and lots of tasks in your project and if you need to make changes from time to time. But if you still do want to use Excel as your reporting tool, let me show you a quick template that you can create easily for your project. But the prerequisite for an efficient reporting system in Excel is to have other artifacts in Excel as well. And at the very least you need to have your work breakdown structure, your risk register, budget and schedule inside Excel as well. By the way, if you don't know what a work breakdown structure is, it's a must have and do watch this video uh, to learn more about work breakdown structure and how to create these work breakdown structure elements because it's essential for this type of reporting. There are only five sections in my report, so let me quickly walk you through them. By the way, click the like button right now and in return YouTube will recommend you more videos on project management and leadership and it will help me to reach more people with this valuable information. Click the like button right now and let's get back to our, our Excel template. All right, so first of all, we have a section with the project overview. So here we have project name, we have updated by and updated date so that we know that when this project progress report was updated and by whom. Then you want to include also the reporting period. So usually it's a one or two weeks period during which you did some work. And last but not least, the project status. It should be one quick at a glance indicator of the project status, like on track or off track, behind schedule, over budget and so on. The next section is the milestone section. So here you will have the name of a milestone, the due date and again the status of uh, progressing towards this milestone. You actually want to manage your projects as a series of sub-projects where you try to be on time for one milestone at a time. Only important thing here is to ensure that your milestones are tied to some deliverables or work packages so that clients do know what they should expect at the given date on a given milestone. So they know uh, that if, uh, for example, they expect two first deliverables for milestones milestone one, it means that they don't need to track the progress on the deliverables level. They can take a look at just milestone one, it's on track, it means all the deliverables on uh, that milestone are on track. The next section is impediments and these are some events or blockers that reduce your uh, efficiency of implementing the deliverables that you have in your plan. It should be something that you discuss on daily or weekly basis and try to resolve as soon as possible. 
it's just statements you don't take them from anywhere else you simply put all the problems that you have on the project here the next section is dedicated to the risks and here you take these risks from your risk register and usually you want to highlight the ongoing and the risks that are coming soon that may happen soon and ideally you want just to copy paste information from your risk register and if you keep it in excel it, it will be effortless for you and the main section of the report is related to progress on work packages and deliverables and as you remember i said that it's a bane of all Excel tools if you need to keep track of tasks inside Excel because it's a nightmare to make changes to the tasks because Excel doesn't provide a good way to implement dependencies between tasks. And personally, I believe that your project owners, your stakeholders, they don't need a report on a task level. It's just too many details for them. And the work package level is great for reporting for several reasons. First of all, you can easily sum up all the work uh, to the deliverable level without getting much into the details. But second, each work package or a group of tasks in simple words, you can track them in different ways. You can track uh, budgets in different ways because these work packages can be different in nature and you can use different templates for estimations, for tracking costs and tracking time, etc. And you may work with different people. Uh, some work packages can be implemented by your in-house team, but for others you will use freelancers. And you don't want to show different types of estimates and uh, actual values on the task level and overwhelm your project owners. So you do it all behind the scenes and just sum it up here in this dashboard. As you understand, it will give you a lot of flexibility because you won't be tied to one universal Excel that will have all the columns, all the categories of budget and time tracking that you need for different work packages. Now, the next important concept is that you want to report only on the work packages that are currently in progress. So for deliverables that you have not started yet, you don't show work packages. And likewise, the deliverables that you finished, you don't show the details of the work packages. You just sum up the actual the results um, for a delivery. It simplifies the tracking for you and for your clients. You need to monitor just the work packages and deliverables that are currently in progress and usually it will be two, three, maybe four deliverables at a maximum. And if you are on track with your deliverables then you know that you don't need to worry about other stuff. Likewise, if you were off track, you were behind schedule or over budget for previous deliverables, at a glance you will see deviations here for a deliverable and you will know that during your next few weeks or months of work you need to catch up and the difference is this, this deviation. The best idea behind this simple report is to ensure that your clients are not overwhelmed with all the details. They can look at the first section if the project is on track, that's great. They don't need to dive deep into all the rest of information. If they're interested in a milestone because they have some event at that milestone and they need a deliverable from you, they can take a look at the second section. Then the impediments and risk sections will tell them uh, about items that they need to focus on to help you finish the part of the project on time and within budget. And only if they see that uh, you have lots of things off track they may want to go to the work breakdown structure reporting and see which of the work packages are off track and it will give you the context of the discussion of the meeting so that they know that for example work package under deliverable 2 is off track and we need to do something about that specific item. So here we discuss the technical details on how to implement a report in this Excel template and these are technical details but you need to learn the project management concepts behind a perfect reporting systems and I recommend that you watch this video because it goes 
deeper into the concepts rather than a tool or implementation. And you do want to include those concepts into creating your template or the tool that you decide to use for reporting of your project progress. So click this video, I'll talk to you there and we'll discuss more about project progress reports.